Well, good morning, everybody out there in the YouTube world. This is Cruise Man again. Who else would it be at this time of day? It is, I don't know, maybe uh, a little after 7 o'clock in the morning here in uh, Carrollton, Texas. And I am once again heading home from Carol uh, from uh, Einstein's I should say here I'm gonna take a little different route today not go my normal short route show you a little bit different way home it's a little longer but so what I uh, start my morning ride from my house when it's dark out it's uh, this morning it was about maybe a little bit before 5 a.m. when I left the house they open up here at Einstein's at 5 a.m. and uh, some days I just have a hard time sleeping today was one of those days I was up at about 4:15 couldn't get back to sleep so I just went ahead and got up and thought heck I'll just go have coffee at 5 a.m. so anyway thanks for joining me today for this moto vlog on November the 30th 2022 2021 I'm sorry I'm a year ahead already I've been thinking about 2022 because of our uh, 10 year anniversary that's coming up. I wonder if I can split through here and get in this left hand turn lane. I think I can without causing too much trouble. So I wanted to give you a quick update on a mistake that I made recently in my uh, most recent crown and comments video where I was talking about the 2021 or boy I've got my years all mixed up today where I was talking about the 2022 Honda Goldwing I mentioned that I really liked the color uh, talking about that new blue color that ultra I think they call it ultra metallic blue I'm not sure if that's the name but I think that's the name and I mentioned in that video that I wished they had that it was a that they had come out with a two-tone color well turns out that is a two-tone blue I didn't realize it from the pictures I looked at on their website but now I've seen some other pictures of the 2022 and it is it is a two-tone it's uh, it has a dark blue kind of cowl in the front and trunk lid in the back and it's got that I don't know if you call it a light blue silvery looking pinstripe that kind of separates the two colors I'm not sure if I'm crazy about the wide pinstripe but still I love the two-tone color and uh, it looks to me like a dark blue and then this ultra metallic and I believe the ultra metallic blue is the exact same blue that I had on my 2012 Goldwing which I really liked I really love that color of blue it's just a very vibrant pretty bright color and um, so I don't know it's pretty tempting that uh, <laughs> that new uh, that new 2022 blue is pretty damn tempting with the bigger trunk the only downside is I'd have to go through and re-add all the accessories and all the things to bring it up to where I've got this Goldwing because I've put a lot of time and effort and money into this particular bike to get it to where I want it it's about 53 degrees this morning it's uh, cool but not bad it's comfortable there's no wind so you know without the wind it's it's really not bad it's a pretty comfortable morning and we're heading uh, kind of north right now I'm gonna go all the way up to a street called Parker 
uh, here in Carrollton. I'm kind of on the border here between Carrollton and Plano. And I'm not even sure which town I'm in half the time, but it's probably still in Carrollton, I think. And I'm taking uh, Midway all the way up to Parker and then I will head back west uh, and that will get me back uh, to my place. A little bit different route, a little bit longer, but not a big deal. Just kind of nice to change it up a little bit. I'm, I know that you guys probably get sick and tired of seeing this same scenery. Not that there's anything exciting on this route, but at least it's not the exact same uh, stuff you're used to seeing. So many of you have asked me about my winter riding gear and yes I know my TPMS light is on. It's very cold out. The bike was sitting outside and uh, my tire pressure did drop while the bike sat out at Einstein's. Looks like I'm down to 38 on my rear tire. So I will have to uh, put a little air in there when I get back home. Some of you have been asking about my winter riding gear. What do I wear when the weather gets colder? Well, first of all, there are probably many other motovloggers out there much more qualified to talk about cold weather gear than I am because it doesn't get that cold here for very long, and I don't ride when it's below, say, 40 degrees. That's about my limit, and honestly, if it's below 45, I don't ride very often. Sometimes I'll ride when it's 40, but not, you know, some of you guys are hardcore. And you ride down in the 30s and the 20s, and, and I'm just not, you know, it doesn't get that cold here, first of all, for very long. We'll get into the 20s, uh, but it usually lasts a day or two. And like today, it's going to actually get up to 80 degrees today here at the very end of November. Can you believe that? It was 75 yesterday. Just beautiful weather. Now, we're going to get it. You know, the cold weather will come. You know, we had that big hard freeze last year that killed off a lot of our shrubs and caused all kinds of problems because we nobody had any heat for three or four days because our all of our electricity was gone. But... Those types of freezes are pretty rare here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. First, I have on my Tourmaster boots, and I'm just wearing some regular black socks uh, that I buy from Amazon. They're thick socks, but they're not, you know, they're just socks I wear normally. They're not anything special. And when it gets below, I'd say 50 degrees, I'll usually wear my Dragon jeans because they have Kevlar lining, which does offer some protection, but it also, uh, it's, they're warmer. They're a little too hot to wear in the summer, so when it's hot out, I'll usually wear my regular Wrangler jeans, but I'll wear the Bond armor underneath that has the armor under my jeans for protection. So today I'm wearing the Dragon jeans and they have the Kevlar lining so they are warmer than normal jeans. They're also a pretty heavy denim. It's not, the denim is thicker I think than what you get with the Wrangler jeans. Now on top I'm wearing, I just have on a t-shirt, a Cruise Man's Garage t-shirt, short sleeve. Sometimes I'll wear a long sleeve shirt, but today I'm wearing a short sleeve. On top of that, I'm wearing my new Bond Armor thermal undershirt, which has the Bond Armor Level 2 armor in it. I removed the armor from my mesh liner, or my mesh undergarment, and I uh, moved it over to this new thermal undergarment. And I saw uh, Kristen at Bond Armor advertise this on their YouTube channel, and I went in the next day and ordered it. So this is not sponsored by Bond Armor. I, I purchased the thermal liner uh, with my own money. And it is kind of a thin, very stretchy material, 
but, it, but it's uh, lined with fleece, so it's warmer uh, than the, uh, obviously the ultra mesh that I wear, ha it's not warm at all, the air just goes right through it. It's very great for summer because uh, it's very lightweight and very comfortable, but it doesn't provide you with any kind of warmth. And then on top of that, I'm wearing the Olympia liner that came out of this Olympia jacket. Now I could install the liner in the jacket so I don't have to wear it as a separate piece. Let me back up. I'm telling you about this the wrong way. I actually am wearing the Olympia liner on top of my t-shirt and then I have the Bon Armor thermal liner or thermal undershirt on top of the Olympia liner. You could do it either way. And you might wonder if I have this thermal undergarment from Bon Armor, why am I wearing the liner from Olympia? Okay. It's because the thermal liner from Bon Armor, while it does provide warmth it doesn't do anything to block the wind. Olympia. The Olympia is not only waterproof, but it kind of blocks the wind, the cold wind from coming through. And this is a mesh jacket. So air goes right through this jacket. If I had a textile jacket that was not mesh or a leather jacket, I would not need the Olympia liner because that would be blocking the wind. Uh, I have a mesh jacket. Uh, I have to have something that kind of blocks that wind. So I'm okay with it the way it is right now. It's just one additional layer for me. But I do like the extra warmth that that uh, new Bon Armor thermal liner offers. So if you if you're looking for a undergarment that you can put some really good uh, high quality armor in and still have some warmth warmth for winter riding you might want to check out this new Bon Armor thermal undergarment it's really uh, I'm really pleased with it I also have this neck gaiter which comes from my Teespring site this is my has my cruise man's logo on it on this neck gaiter and it does block the wind it has some uh, it has a material that's kind of a wind blocking material so it kind of keeps the cold air off my neck and then of course I have my LD Comfort helmet liner and then my helmet and that's pretty much it now on my hands uh, I'm today when it's this cold I'll wear my Olympia uh, these are Olympia gloves and they are fleece line I guess they're fleece line they're kind of a leather combination leather and textile glove they have the reinforced uh, kind of plastic protective knuckles and they're warmer than the gloves I normally wear the gloves I normally wear are kind of a summer glove and uh, they just let air right through and of course I got my heated grips my heated seat going so I'm comfortable right now I could go probably uh, I could go all day at 50 degrees with no wind and I could go 45 degrees with no wind um, if it gets windy then it's a different story but anyway that's my winter riding gear update I'll remind you again if you're passionate about motorcycles please take a second to click that little subscribe button don't forget to click the bell icon to let YouTube know that you want to be notified of new videos and if you enjoyed this video today I know it's a long one I apologize for how long this video is but if you enjoyed this video please uh, click the like button really does help with the YouTube rankings thanks again to all of you that took advantage of our Black Friday promotion and I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.